We're here in Columbus and we just unveiled at the National Association for People Transportation our first electric bus. Customers are really excited about it. We snuck up on our competition, they didn't see it coming. I've had the pleasure to drive it, super smooth. It's going to allow us to develop future electric vehicles. I am super excited to be here, not just here at NAPT, but literally here, standing in the engine compartment of our Safety Liner C2. How can I stand in the engine compartment? Because there is no engine. Why is there no engine? Because this is an electric vehicle. Introducing Julie, our Safety Liner C2 first production intent vehicle. One other thing that's missing from this Safety Liner C2 electric bus is the tailpipe. No engine, no need for a tailpipe. No emissions, no noise, all without sacrificing power. So here we have our depth tank access door, which for electric vehicle is actually the charging port. So you'll see a standard J1772 charging port easily accessible for end of day charging. So Julie comes with a unique feature to electric buses, and that is export power. Export power means that Julie is able to provide power source for external devices such as laptops or cell phones. You'll see a traditional 120 volt AC power system just like you find in a house. You also see USB ports here. This particular system is 2 kilowatts continuous, 3 kilowatts peak, but it can be expanded to go beyond this and have enough power to even power a neighborhood. In the Safety Liner C2 electric vehicle, you'll notice a different driver information cluster. Because we don't have an engine, you no longer need to see RPMs. Instead, what you see is the state of charge of your batteries. This project would not have been possible without the support of Daimler and DTNA. And the future of sustainability is not somewhere out in the distant future. It's happening now at Thomas Built Buses.